Hello everybody, this is Connie and I am here with a monthly favorites. I don't normally do that, um, but I'm going to do it for September. And I know it's going to go up a little bit early, but um, I wanted to get this done. And I'm also, um, something different today, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing on my face. Also, I'll have it down below. I didn't want to do a, a get ready with me because I've, I've done a couple of those recently. So I thought I would show you, um, actually two of the things I'm not going to show you because I'm wearing, because I'm going to haul them. <laughs> but everything else I will show you. So uh, firstly, I've got my old standby and it's Olay for sensitive skin moisturizer and I have to have for sensitive skin stuff so and this is all day moisturizer with sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 15 it's for sensitive skins with vitamin E and aloe and it's Olay complete or old lady as some people call it and um, I am wearing my Mirabella primer and I use that on my eyes and my face. And I'll tell you what, guys. <coughs> I don't remember using this before. But it's very greasy. Just so you know. It does dry. But you have to wait a bit for it to dry. Because it is very oily and greasy feeling. Um, I don't know if that's why my face looks the way it does today or not. But um, anyway, that's what I'm wearing. The Mirabella primer for face and eyes um, and that's all it says about it okay next is my favorite eyebrow stuff ever that I've ever found so far is the NYX tinted brow mascara now that is the easiest for me to do because doing pencil and um, I can do the powder but pencil just does not work for me and the powder I just think this is easiest for for me uh, to do. I don't know if my brows look the best or not, but that's what I've got on. Uh, for mascara, I'm using CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. And, you know, there's some things CoverGirl I just do not like at all, but I really like this mascara. Really like this mascara. Uh, for eyeliner, I'm using my new Kat Von D. Uh, in the black and it is so pigmented you guys you I mean I'm using it in my upper waterline and my lower waterline and it is so pigmented I will show you a close-up of my face here in a minute um, next is my elf HD lifting concealer um, not totally thrilled with this stuff um, I'm kind of trying to find the best concealer for me right now. This um, does not blend very well. Uh, let's see here. For blush, I'm using the Clean Color Spotlight in Rose. Isn't that pretty? It is so pretty. And NYX um, Illuminizer in Ritualistic. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, I'm wondering though, I, when, when I do the close-up of my face, I really want you to tell me, do I wear that too high? Is it emphasizing my wrinkles? Should I be putting it down just a little bit more, more on top of my blush than, you know, underneath my eyes? Do, you tell me. And um, I use this to, to set my concealer, plus I used it all over my face when I was done. It, it is the Mineral Wear Talc-Free um, Physician's Formula uh, pressed Mineral Airbrushing Pressed Powder SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen in Translucent. And I really do like this. You know, there's some powders that I'm not crazy about, like some of their blushes. But I really like, really like this powder. And lastly, or for my eyes, I'm using my chocolate bar. And I'll show you what I used. Um, this was my base color here. This was my highlight color underneath my brows. I used um, this on my lid. 
and this for my transition and in the corner in the edges and then I used I put this on my whoops I put this one on my finger and just went over my my eyelid a little bit I will show you I will get you in closer here and show you here of course my nose is running okay so there is my eyelid Oops, other eye. And um, I will talk more about my other stuff here. Let's get you out here. Sorry about that. Dang it. All right. <laughs> anyway, this is my whole face. As it may be. Mm -hmm. Wrinkly old face. And I'm having a horrible hair day today. I washed my hair, um, blow dried it, but it is wanting to stick out everywhere. So, and my bangs just wanted to go v v v this way. So that's why I'm wearing the headband. Otherwise, I haven't been doing that. Um, I want to get this stuff out of the way so I can show you my monthly favorites now. Um, I'm going to show you, you know, just odds and ends stuff. It's not going to be just makeup. It's, excuse me, it, it has a spectrum. Okay. First thing is I got one of these in two different boxes, um, like last month, I think, or something, maybe in July. And I really, really like this stuff. It lasts a long time. Um, it is the Olay Fresh Outlast Cooling White Strawberry and Mint Body Wash. And I really like it. It smells wonderful. I'm wearing it today. Wearing it today. That's what I used in the shower today. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you three of my um, all-time favorite uh, perfumes. This one I've had for several years. Um... And it still smells wonderful. And it is JLo's Glow. And look at, I still have only used that much. I don't wear perfume a lot unless I'm going somewhere. Because I don't wear it to work. Because I don't even know if it's allowed at work, to tell you the truth. Um, anyway, that is, it smells wonderful. And then, um, I love fresh, clean scents. And this is one of the best. It is Pure Grace and I absolutely love it by philosophy. See it's just such a simple bottle and such a simple label. Um, you know they're kind of pricey. They're well to me they're pricey. Um, oh I've got all kinds of stuff going on here. My bangs. Um, where's my other one? They're under 30 I think you know I don't know some of you might think that's reasonable but $30 to me is a lot of money for a little bottle of perfume and I buy this I mean these are the small this is the small bottle but it lasts me a long time so and then my all-time favorite is um, Daisy the original Daisy by Marc Jacobs oh, oh so fresh and oh my god this smells heavenly I mean absolutely heavenly I love that stuff excuse me one second I'm sorry about this every time I get on the on the to film for you guys okay and then I thought I could do all my makeup favorites for the month but what I'm doing is I've got so much stuff that I am rotating I am using one of this one of this one you know and then the next day I'll use the next, you know, and put the put the one I used today at the back and then, you know, go forward from there. So I've got a lot of everything. So I'm rotating everything. So it's really not a favorite. But I'm my all-time favorites, what I have here, are in blushes and highlighters today. And next month I'll do like foundations and concealers or something. But anyway, I'm going to do my blush, tell you my blushes first. My first one is Milani in Romantic Rose. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? 
I love, love, love that color. And I love their, their packaging. Just so pretty. And this one, all three of these have beautiful packagings. This one is the Hard Candy um, Glow All The Way. And this is a Glow All The Way Ombre Baked Blush in Sunburst. If I can get it open. And that one looks like that. Just absolutely beautiful. The next one is the Kardashian Beauty. You guys, I think you know this if you know me, is I love this one. It's the um, Ombre, it's Torch, Ombre Cheap Color. Torch is the name. You can tell I'm, I kind of like those Ombre things. <laughs> and, okay, so here we go with the highlighters. This is the one that I got, um, I pay bought off of a um, used makeup site this month <clears throat> and it is the Becca Opal I'm absolutely loving this stuff so beautiful and then here is the dupe for it which I also love um, this goes on beautifully and it is the Kardashian Beauty it is um, intimate spotlight in burnish and that's what that looks like. It's so pretty. So pretty. And the last one is also, you can tell I kind of like Hard Candy and I kind of like Becca or Kardashian Beauty. Um, this one is the Hard Candy uh, So Blaked Baked Bronzer. And it's in Tiki. But I use it as a highlighter. Beautiful. Absolutely. All right, so those are my favorites there. Now, um, this is always going to be my favorite, in my favorites, always. I am such a reader. I love paranormal romance. I love urban fantasy. Anything with vampires and <clears throat> werewolves are my favorite, or shifters. Um, dragons, anything like that, I read voraciously. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just got done reading the series so far of Dorinda Jones' uh, Charlie Davidson series, if you have any idea what that is. It is about, <clears throat> she's actually a god, that, um, and he, he is the son of Satan, and she is a god. And they come together, and they have all these adventures, and um, I just read number eight in the series and number nine comes out next month so I'm excited about that um, anyway this is my nook and it's a nook glow light you just press that I don't know if you'll even be able to see it see it it lit up and then you just swipe that and it goes to my and this is what I'm reading right here this big book and it goes to my page. And what I'm reading right now <clears throat> is, I've already read the first few of these, but I'm, I'm reading um, a book by Amber Benson, and it's the first in the series, and it's um, Calliope, or let's see, what's the name of this book? Let me go back here. Calliope Reaper Jones, Death's Daughter is the name of the book. Death's Daughter. But it's Calliope Reaper Jones is the, it's about this girl, Calliope Reaper Jones. And I really, I can't remember, it's been so long ago since I read it, that, um, I don't know. Um, but I do, I am looking for more covers. This is the original cover that I got for this book after I, or for this reader after I got it. And I'd like a different one. I'm just kind of tired of this one. But anyway, that is always going to be my favorites because I'm a voracious reader. I love to read. Okay, the next thing is my Sony CyberShot. Th this is my favorite camera, but I, the, I hate it because it doesn't take batteries. I mean, it takes a, like a lithium-type battery, and I only have one. And do you think I can find my charger cord for this? I can't. So I'm going to have to buy a new one because I can't find it anywhere. I have no idea what I did with it. I am so pissed. So if anybody knows of any um, any cords that will work 
with this that, you know, I just, I don't want to spend a lot of money, and I don't, I, you know, help me out, guys. Cybershot, Sony Cybershot G, I guess. <clears throat> AVCHD Wi-Fi. I have no idea. Anyway, the next thing is I have been loving this, and this is rosemary essential oils. I have got it in there right now. My house smells like I'm cooking. Like I'm a wonderful cook, but I'm not. Just put a couple drops of this in your diffuser, and the whole house smells like rosemary. It smells so good. Um, the next thing is a magazine. I love this magazine. HGTV magazine. It's got um, so many uh, different beautiful stuff that I'll never do, but I think it's fun to look at. <laughs> All these decorating ideas and stuff like that. I just like this magazine. I don't read a whole lot of magazines anymore because of my nook and... You know, I just don't. So, anyway, and the next, the last thing in my favorites is you guys are going to th think I'm nuts. But I take this to work with me um, at least three times a week and have it for lunch. And I love this stuff. It's Velveeta um, Cheesy Bowls Ultimate Cheeseburger Macaroni. And what you do, it comes in, in a little bowl. The macaroni and the hamburger comes in a little bowl. And then there's a cheese packet on top. Well, you microwave the bowl for a minute, and then you put your cheese packet. I put salt and pepper in it. Sometimes I put some bacos in it. Um, and then I eat it with a few potato chips at lunch. I know it's not very healthy, not, you know, it's probably very fattening, but I don't care. I love this stuff. Just for a quick lunch, because I only get a half an hour for lunch. So it's got to be very quick, microwavable lunch. Or And the other couple of days I take sandwich. So... Okay, now I've got three non-favorites for the month. Now this I was going to put in my favorites, but you have to be, and it smells heavenly, and I love it. It's the face, facial spray. It's the, and it was in my, um, I raved about it last time I talked about it. But it's the Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary, and it's got a broad spectrum sunscreen of 50, which is wonderful. And in that sense, I love it. But, I'm really on the fence about this because you spray it and if you get a dab of it in your hair it's just like the thickest um, hairspray there is I mean it doesn't dissolve in your hair it's like a and it makes your hair feel so greasy and oily and sticky that that's why I don't like it and I won't use it anymore unless I have put on a shower cap or something and use it <laughs> Okay, the next thing is uh, kind of funny because this is an expensive brand. It's Vincent Longo. And it is his Desert Row Dewdrop Radiant Blush. And it is not pigmented one iota. Um, well, I'm having trouble opening things today. Okay, there it is. Look at that, how um, dull and lifeless that looks to begin with. And there it is, but look how powdery it is. And can you even see it? It's not a pretty blush whatsoever. It's it's very, very powdery. I'm just doing that, and look at how powdery that is on my finger. See, you use a brush on that, and you couldn't even tell I used it. So this one's going in my giveaway pile. Um, this here is Avon, and I like Avon stuff, but I won't be using their um, their mascaras anymore because this is the Big Big and Daring Volume Mascara, and it is the driest mascara I have ever used. It's like it dried up. Um, this one is a brand new one. I have not used this one. I won't use this one. This one I got in a giveaway, and it's it's this is brand new, but I have used this um, not only maybe a couple months ago when I threw it away. 
because it's so dry. But this one's brand new. This one's going in, in a giveaway or a swap or something. But this one has not been used because I know that you don't, that's not cool it, to try these out and, and uh, you know, because you can get on infections and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that is my monthly favorites and my what I'm wearing today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Love you. Bye-bye.